Have you asked yourself, are we losing our community? Are we losing our cities? Are we losing our country? Are we losing it to these fascist, socialist, communists that are trying to sneak into our political system through the Democratic Party? Well, the time is now. The time has come to put an end to this nonsense and make America great again. ¡Qué bonito! Te digo que las cosas que pasan aquí en este país, no le, yo, es que no puedo creer que le pasen en ningún otro país. Te voy a decir por qué. Primeramente, en Francia hay huelga. En Alemania hay huelga. En Italia hay huelga. En muchos países, en muchos países de África, especialmente en Sudáfrica, también hay huelga. ¿Por qué hay huelga? Hay huelga porque estos dignitarios del gobierno se creen que ellos le pueden quitar el derecho de un ser humano cuando a ellos le dé la gana. Y eso no es así. Señores y señores, eso no es así. Nosotros tenemos hijos y familias que mantener. Eh, porque el pancho carequeso este de gobierno como le da la gana de cerrarla de escuela, entonces hay que cerrarla. Sin base y sin fundamento. A mí no me venga como el tumbado, que estos son este, eh, ideales, científicas. No, mentira, mentira. Esto se trata de algo un poco más de allá. Y para mí, y para mí, para mi razón personal, se trata de destruir la economía de esta nación, que bastante destruida está, mi gente, bastante destruida. Entonces, ahora quieren pasar eh, eh, un bill de 3 trillones de dólares. Un COVID-19 Relief Bill de 3 trillones. ¿Para dónde va ese dinero? Yo estoy ansioso de que Nancy Pelosi lo haga público para meterme en lleno dentro de este bill. Para demostrarles a ustedes que no tiene nada que ver con el desempleo. Para demostrarles a ustedes que no tiene nada que ver con el que tiene hambre. Para demostrarles a ustedes que no tiene nada que ver con el que está perdiendo su apartamento. para demostrarle eso y mucho más a ustedes. Pero mira esto, un solo hombre, hasta los mismos republicanos, un buen 50% de los republicanos le están diciendo al presidente Donald Trump to give up, to give up and concede. For those who doesn't understand what I'm talking about, I'm going to chop it up in a totally different way. The fact of the matter is that I don't understand what's really going on here. We must be on some kind of a, a, a insomnia or something because in Germany, they protesting this crap. In Italy, they protesting this crap. And in other countries in Europe, they protesting this kind of crap about closing down the economy, about making mask wearing mandatory. Why? If I'm in the park by myself doing some exercise, there's nobody around me, why do I got to wear a damn mask? Why? If I'm driving my car down towards my job, And there's nobody on the passenger side. It's just me, myself, and I. Why would I want to wear a mask? Mandatory. If someone explain that to me. And please don't tell me that shit is scientific because it's not. We got in on one side, 
Fauci saying that it's not really necessary. I still remember back in the early days of the coronavirus. And then we have on another side, the director of the CDC. The director of the CDC said that he trusts wearing a mask more than he do a vaccine. Are you effing kidding me? This is the director of the CDC. And we ain't doing nothing. We like this. And then to top it all off, we got our president, Donald J. Trump, and his teams of attorneys fighting their hearts out. We got patriots that have put their life on the line to come forward and sign an affidavit. An affidavit notarized, okay? Notarized that they would get in trouble and even jail time, okay? If they perjured themselves. Are you kidding me? And I'm talking about hundreds and hundreds and probably even thousands throughout the country, people coming forward denouncing what's going on in this election. I have no doubt. I have not. Then again, I know none of y'all cares about what I think, but I have no doubt that some hanky-panky took place here. Somehow, some way. Donald Trump is up 150,000 votes at 1 o'clock in the morning in Michigan. 150,000 votes up in Michigan. By 6 o'clock in the morning, the votes were gone. He was losing already. How the hell did that happen? Who else got a magic wand besides Donald Trump? And nobody's questioning this? Nobody? People are saying, well, that's good for his ass. We wanted his ass out anyway, so good. I'm glad they stole it from him. Listen, you morons, because I just don't have any other words for you people. This is not about Donald Trump. This is not about Joe Biden. This is about the integrity of our elections for many, 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 many years to come, man. That's what this is all about. Nothing else. I can assure you that after everything has been counted, every tally has been counted, every investigation, every rock has been turned, I can guarantee you that if Biden is ahead, after legal, legal votes have been counted, I guarantee you that Donald Trump will not have no problems whatsoever giving up the White House. In the meantime, he's not going to do it. You know why he's not going to do it? Because they said it in the beginning. They said it from the very beginning. Even Joe Biden himself said that he got the best, the best fraud team that he has ever assembled. Now, why would he say some shit like that, for lack of a better word? Come on, guys, help me out here. Really? Why would he say some shit? <laughs> I'm telling you, man. It's mind-boggling. There's been fraud. There's obviously there's been fraud. And then on top of that, two weeks before that, he claims to have the best fraud team that he has ever assembled in the country. Hello? Are you kidding me? And then on top of that, what was it that Hillary Clinton said? Hillary Clinton told Joe Biden, under no circumstances, under no circumstances, 
if Donald Trump wins the election, do not concede. Two to three to four weeks later, you're going to be the winner. How, how does she know that? How did she know that? Why are you guys asking this question? Is your hate for Donald J. Trump so deep that you would rather have the elections of this country go to hell? If it's gotta be, it's gotta be just to get rid of Donald Trump. I never seen nothing like it. Where are the patriots? And I'm talking about patriots for this country. I'm not talking about patriots for Joe Biden. I'm not talking about patriots for Donald Trump. I'm not talking about patriots for Nancy Pelosi. I'm not talking about I'm I'm not talking about patriots for any other politicians for that matter. I'm talking about patriots for the country, for the America that we know and that we love and that we cherish. We're going to lose this, guys. If we allow the fraud that took place, because I'll be honest with you, I don't call it fraud. To me, this is not a fraud. A fraud is something that happens, how do you call that? Expontaneously. It was devised expontaneously and it was carried out expontaneously. So to me, this is not a fraud. To me, this is a coup d'etat. This is a coup. This is a coup that has been planned from day one. Can't you guys see it? Can't you guys see it? It's the fraud that was planned from day one and they started with the Russian collusion. They started with the Russian collusion. They started with Russia. <laughs> and what's crazy is that the one who sold Russia, 20% of our uranium was the Obama administration with the blessings of Hillary Clinton, which was the Secretary of State at the time. 20% of our uranium. Why would you do something like that? If that's not an act of treason, I don't know what is it. Because we lacking, we are lacking in that area when it comes to, to these type of chemicals. But nobody says anything. Here is a woman that had top secret. I'm talking about top of the line secrets from the Air Force from the Marines, from the Pentagon. Remember, she was Secretary of State. All in her own personal server in the basement of her house. When she was subpoenaed to turn those things in to Congress, she destroys them and gets away with it. But nobody says anything. Not the mainstream media, not ABC, not CBS, not C C uh, CNN. Nobody. Not the New York Times, not the Washington Post, not the LA Times. Nobody says anything. Who is she? Who is she? How can she wait? How can she carry this much power? To the point where they were able to fabricate. Check this out. 
they were able to fabricate and buy a dossier from Mr. Steele, which happens to be an agent of England. That's right. Another agent from England bought a dossier from Mr. Steele claiming some of the craziest, <laughs> some of the craziest crap you can ever read in regards to a presidential candidate. Crazy. Was so crazy that they didn't even bother. They didn't even bother investigating some of the over-the-top, over-the-top crap. That's how crazy he was. But she don't go to jail. Who are these people? Who are, as a matter of fact, better yet, who fund these people? Who back these people financially? Is it George Soros? Oops, be careful with that name, because the last time somebody mentioned the name of George Soros on Fox News, they got whoop, they got cut out. My brothers and sister, man, I'm a news guy. That's what I am now at the moment. I'm a part-time news guy, and I'm doing it because I feel that the truth based on my experiences, based on my research, needs to be told. Because the truth will set you free. It cannot, in my life, it cannot be all about song and dance. It cannot be all about salsa. It cannot be all about writing songs and recording and, and having a good time and watch my country go down the drain. You mean to tell me there's not one out there? And if there is, believe me, you're not going to get any airtime. There's not one of you out there, not one of you out there who didn't think there's something funny going on here. We're talking about a man who never left his basement we're talking about a man who never talked about his agenda. All he did was curse and degrade Donald Trump. Donald Trump this, Donald Trump that, Donald Trump this, Donald Trump that. That's all he did. He never talked about his agenda moving forward if he were to become president. And, and, and I'm sure that a lot of you know why. You know, because he don't run shit. If he ever becomes, if he ever becomes inaugurated president of the United States, I guarantee you that he ain't running shit. The powers that be, the puppet masters, are going to be running this country once again. And be careful, because this is it. This is going to be the year. If Donald Trump and patriots out there that I'm begging, patriots out there with money, okay, don't help him. If Donald Trump, with the help of some of these patriots, don't put a stop to this, we are going to be in big doo-doo. Guarantee you that we're going to be in big doo-doo. Okay? And I'm going to repeat myself again. It's not about Trump. As a matter of fact, F Trump. As a matter of fact, F Joe Biden, F Hillary Clinton. All of them should be put in jail and start from scratch with brand new blood. And I'm talking about brand new blood, not backed up with some think tank like AOC, like Ilham Omar, and all of these other youngsters that are coming up as congressmen. All right, because they're being backed up by some of the most, some of the most treacherous think tank that you can think of. Believe me, how did we, how do, did we become the number one company in the world 
the number one company in the world in energy. In energy. And now we're not. We're not. It's dead. It's over. If you think that Joe Biden is not going to end fracking, well, think again. All right? If you fell for the lie, then good for you. That's on you. Because you was told from the beginning. You was told from the beginning that he said that he was going to ban fracking. But then when he noticed that, that was very dangerous for him to say, he switched it around and said, oh, no, 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 no. People misunderstood. And you believed them. And you believed them. He's going to end fracking. He's going to end oil. He's going to end anything that's got to do with fossil fuel, like coal. You can forget about Pennsylvania. Take Pennsylvania, for example. Pennsylvania always been a coal miners, uh, miners country. Always. Always. How the hell are you going to vote for Biden? Hell no. Hell no. You can fool somebody else, but you're not going to fool me. The whole damn country is about, you know, mines and, and coal mines and, and refineries and things of that nature. The whole, the whole state depends on coal. And from coal to refinery and from the refinery to making steel and from making steel to making other things. That's what the state lives of. And you're going to vote for Biden? Really? You better go fool somebody else. You're not going to fool me. Listen, I understand. I understand you hate Trump. Why? So he could, you know, he's a little brash. He's brash. He's, you know, he got this attitude that I'm the man. You know, I'm better than you. But at the end of the game, I don't, I don't care. I don't care about that. I care about a doer. A doer. I want a doer. I don't want a talker. I want somebody that can walk the talk. And that's Donald J. Trump. He has proved it in the last four years. And he was about to prove it again. This next four years. If it wasn't for these deep staters. That tried to rob him. Tried to rob him. Of, of, of an election. That, 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 that is proper, properly his. And it's a shame. It's a shame that this is happening in our country. The whole world is watching. The whole world is watching. What are we doing with computers that were designed in Venezuela? What are we doing with, with computers that tally boats that were designed and made in Venezuela? Huh? As a matter of fact, one of them broke down in Michigan. Yeah, it took 7,000. <laughs> it took 7,000 votes that belonged to Trump and flipped them to Joe Biden. And you know what they say? Oops, it was just a glitch. It was what? Are you effing kidding me? A glitch. Who made the decision to bring election computers made in Venezuela to this country to begin with? Who made that decision? Rigged. Rigged. So when you shut, that's how come they shut everything down. Then you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to count till the end. Point blank. 
and they shut everything down. Donald Trump was winning like five, six states when everything was shut down at one o'clock in the morning. By six o'clock in the morning, when they opened everything up, every state was in favor of Joe Biden. How the hell did that happen? Hello? What the hell did I miss? My brothers and sisters out there, let me repeat myself, man. To me, at this point, it's not about Donald Trump. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you why, to me, it's not about Donald Trump. Because he already, and, and I don't care if any of my conservative liberals out there get mad at me, you know. The fact of the matter is that he should have stood loyal. He should have stood loyal to the people who got him there to begin with. He got rid of everybody, of everybody that worked their asses off for him. I'm talking about 24-7 for him. And then you get rid of them. So you can surround yourself with the same pieces of shit that you're trying to, 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 to clear out of the swamp. You surrounded yourself with the same people that, that lived in the swamp for years. And guess what? They backstabbing the shit out of you now. Because 50% of them Republicans want you to give in already. Ha ha ha. If you lose this election, guess what, Mr. Trump? I hope you learn lesson number one. Stay loyal. 